we are talking about how much is enough, right? How much is enough in so many different areas of our lives? There is, of course, money. How much is enough money? Have you ever stopped to think about how much money you would actually like to make? Not that pie in the sky, I want to be a millionaire thing, but to live a comfortable life that you would enjoy. Have you ever sat down to think about how much that is? Have you ever stopped to think about um, like your minimum, your uh, comfortable and your optimal amount of money to bring in every month is? It can be fun and I highly recommend you do it. But it's not just about money. Although, you know, in my world, how you do money is how you do everything. So you're going to want to look at money as part of this equation. But there is um, so many things that are affected by the, the concept of how much is enough. How much is enough food? How much is enough toilet paper? How much is enough gas in the car? How much is enough things, right? So consider all the things in your life and what's what's um what's the enough level for those and then time right because the three are so intertwined your time your stuff your space your money the four things that are currently important to me in all areas um but time how much effort and energy how much time is that going to take i was talking to a client this morning who really struggles with figuring out how long things are going to take. She tends to think it's going to take her so much longer than it takes other people to do things that it makes her very overwhelmed when she thinks of some of these things that she feels are going to take a lot longer. Um, but how much is enough time to do something? Start timing yourself. Figure out if you can do it faster in some other way. And, and how good is enough is good enough right? What if it was just good enough for what? Good enough for government work? <laughs> good enough for uh, the result you need? Good enough for the people involved? Uh, good enough for yourself? Enough. Sit down and think about what enough looks like to you in all these different areas. It doesn't have to be a big ordeal about figuring out how much is enough, but simply contemplate, journal, think about it. Is this enough? Is this too much? How many clothes do you really need? How many pairs of underwear? <laughs> I mean, I, I go into people's houses all the time that have like dozens of pairs of underwear, but they also have a washing machine. So what if you could get away with, you know, seven pairs, 14 pairs, 21 pairs? What is your enough? I'm not saying it has to be any one of those numbers, but not having thought about it at all, you're more likely to overspend. You're more likely to have duplicates of things you already had that's going to take you way too long to use up. I just let go of my shampoo subscription because I have like a year supply of the shampoo piling up under my sink and I don't need that many. So I canceled the subscription, even though I had changed the times and the frequencies. Don't need it. Um... So think about that. What is, where are all the cascading aspects of not knowing enough? How much is enough money to spend on something to get the result you want? How much money do you need to do it in a better way? But how much can you get away with not spending on it and get a result you like? Works both ends of the spectrum, right? Uh, takes you out of the uh, poverty mindset to think about what might be possible for that amount of money. Not, I don't have enough money. Um, and the same thing with the things and the time. Maybe you are time abundant and you end up with plenty of time to get everything you need done that is important to you to help you get to those dreams you want to achieve. All right. Take a bit of time this week. Think about how much is enough. Um, and thanks for those of you viewing. Hey, Peter, I see you uh, on uh, LinkedIn there. Thank you so much for joining. Um, tell all your friends in the future. And in the meantime, have a delightful day. See you next week.